It's in the UK with Eddie Earn. Eddie, good show? Yeah, great show. Uh, a couple of great heavyweight fights. Alan Price was probably not the barn burner I expected, but I thought a great performance from David Price. Brilliant performance from Dillian White and again Oscar Rivas. Great effort as well. Chisora just stunning. Billam Smith, React Poor, great fight. Duffield Disease, great fight. And that was a, a real night full of pas uh, packed action. And now I'm absolutely knackered. Yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning. And he's after the camera. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, we spoke to you earlier in the week, Eddie, about David that Allen already looking ahead to Pebekin. Yes, and you said you were said, worried about that. You, know, you can't just presume you're going to get people past people like David Price. David Price got a very disciplined performance. Dave Allen was poor, but I'm going to talk too much about that. Obviously, he's been rushed to hospital, and, and we know we believe he's okay. He's got a broken cheekbone, but he's going to be okay. But you know, uh, I think give David Price the credit. Uh, and Chisora's knocked out. Spectacular. Yeah, I mean. That was electric. You know, Chisora's performances aren't really known to be electric. They're gruelling and explosive and dramatic. But that was actually a guy who went in and went, you know what, I hate southpaws. I'm not very good, but I'm going to take this guy's head off. And the knockout was brutal. It was. Yeah, we were worried for him for a while as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. But good to see him walk out of the ring. It was. Try and approach the white Rivas fight in a different way. Mm. The ninth round, did he oh, sink a yeah, little? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that... Rivas was always dangerous, and what Dillian did so well in the fight was just continuously sort of dishearten him with the jab in the eye. The body work was brilliant, uh, the shots around the side of the head. It hurt him enough to sort of, every time he got a bit of momentum, just make him think actually just what, you know. And Rivas is tough, you know, he's a really good fighter, a good puncher. And obviously the ninth round was like, oh no, not again, and uh, pleased to see him get the win. Absolutely. Moving forward, everyone's just assuming it's Wilder or Fury. There's a certain man called Louis Ortiz, might yeah, have something yeah, to do with that. What's going to happen. Anything could happen in boxing, but you know the main thing is he's mandatory, and no one can take that away from him. People say that May, June, he's mandatory. We're going to get it. It's just a case of pushing it and make sure we get what we deserve. Yes. Do you have a preference personally? I'd like to see him fight Wilder. You know, I think it's a great fight. And would you bring that over here, or we'll probably the US? It's a nice split in the first bit, so. We'll yeah. <laughs> uh, Lomachenko Campbell was announced yeah, officially. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a press conference on Monday. On Monday, yeah, we did a pre-sale at the O2 today, which like broke pre-sale records. We've got the fight pass tomorrow, general sale on Monday. It's going to be an instant sellout. I think because the boxing audience in the UK has become very educated now, so Lomachenko's like to them a major star, and he's pound for pound number one. I mean, this is like someone after me earlier. Said, this is like Sugar Ray Leonard coming to the UK to fight back in the day. Oh, don't be silly. Said the wall. He was pound for pound number one, this is pound for pound number one. This is a guy that's as good as those kind of level fighters, you know? Yeah. And it's going to be a tough fight for Luke, but I really believe he's got a chance in this fight and I can't wait. I know, you, said, you took some flack online for saying that in the ring there. Yeah, no, but I really I believe it, you know, I, I do believe it. Otherwise I wouldn't bother. I'd do it in America and make more money. You know, we're putting it on the line here, we're putting the money up to bring him. Because I believe he can do it. Was there any rumour in the Old Trafford? Sorry, any truth in the Old Trafford rumours, Eddie? No, no? absolutely not. And, uh, but it's a good one to start. <laughs> no, I'll not start yeah. that one. And undercard, anything? We've, we've heard Cordina might be fighting Cordina, on the undercard. Yeah, we look like Charlie Edwards against his mandatory. A couple of heavyweight fights as well. Just been in, been in pinning those uh, down this weekend. Hopefully to announce three or four on Monday. Lovely. Right, next time we'll see you will be August the 2nd in Liverpool, Eddie. Yeah, look forward to it. Thank you very Tristan. much for your time. Good night for him. Yes, absolutely. Take care.